best test done right away. So I went ahead and handled it for you. What's good, YouTube? Brecky Gaming here, and today uh, we're not joined by Tom uh, as he's busy, so we're going to be continuing our Fallout 3 adventures here. Uh, we got to the Citadel in the last episode, if you missed that, the, the link in the description. Wait, the link will be in the description below. There we go. Let's see if we can speak English today. So we're going to go see uh, the Elder Lions and retrieve our uh, power armor. Well, give us the access to get our armor training so we can use our enclave armor or we can get the Brotherhood of Steel. You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. So, uh, permission for trade. This is not See, normally something Because Brother Steel, do. as I found out, trade don't like trading. So we need permission for trading, so he'll give us the authorization to trade. Past. However, considering the circumstances, so be it. I'll send word to Durga that you have full access to trade. So we've got full access to trade now, and, uh, grant mm, permission for power armor training. the circumstances, I think it would be prudent. If you received such training, yes. Speak to Gunny in the Bailey. He will train you in the proper use of power armor. Fear not, I will send word that I have given my approval. You'll find him in the Bailey. I will send word that I've given my approval. Okay, so then I've done that. Up. We can. Need something, friend? We'll go see. I received Captain word from Knight. Outer Lions. Cap well, Knight he Commander. says that you have permission <gasps> well, to trade Captain, with us. Even better. Good for you. Nice title. I want that title. Yeah. So I want to trade. Uh, I want to get rid of some of my ammunition here. Uh, well, and stuff. So I want to get rid of that, 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 and that. So I just left with the armor. Uh, fusion battery don't need. Uh, get rid of the BBs. Keep everything else. Uh, weapons. Get rid of any extras that we don't actually need. Uh, we've got two lots of pistols. And what else can we get rid of? Is there anything else to get rid of? Nope, I don't think so. No. Well, we seen we need some ammunition anyway, at least. Because I know she's got energy cells and. I'm not rocking that many. I've got five. So. About three caps a pop. I can, I'll get, if I get 100, that's 300. I'll get myself. Give me 65. 190. I know you've got some stims, so at 41 pop. Give me two. There we go. Thanks. Steel be right. with you. Uh, okay then. So I need to go find Gunny, uh, well, Paladin Gunny in the Bailey, which is in the courtyard just outside. So we'll go out and find him. I know there's, I've, there we go, some beds there. I've just I spotted uh, beforehand as well. So we can go get our help up there. So here's Paladin Gunner. You, Initiate, you've got a lot of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. I thought you were one of these worthless initiates. I swear these kids would be lost without me here to powder their asses. So, can you train me to use power coming. armor? Yes. Yeah, I can train you, but don't ask me to like it. My initiates sweat blood, and you just get a free pass? Anyway, you ready for this? Now look, to wear power armor, first thing you need to do is relax your muscles. Let the suit do the work, okay? Now you. Okay. 
There we go. What aid can I offer you, outsider? Uh, nothing. If you'll excuse me, I need. So now I can wear the awesome power armor I have, the Enclave power armor and helmet. Pistol. I've got a hunting rifle, so. Uh, like I said, there's beds over here which I can use. Hopefully, I can actually use. Hail! Hail! Need something, friend? Yes. Uh, just leave for a few hours because it might heal up my full body. So let's just check that. Uh, if we go to. Stats, yeah. So we've got four stats now, which is good. I get, I've got plus strength because of my, uh, but I've got minus charisma and agility. So barter melees are up. Perks. It's general good <laughs> I'm a good ranger of the wastes which is cool so I haven't got much for AIDS but it's something at least so what we need to do is we need to go to vault 87 so we'll go to vault 112 which is uh, where we ended up before which is where we're going now which is what is it Smithy Smith cases garage so we've got our hunting rifle here. So looks like an item tent over here, which we're gonna go. Things might have some good items over here because normally somehow it's survived, but we'll see. Ah, I've picked up an enemy. Where's the enemy? Ah, there we go. try that again but this time instead of using my hunting rifle I might actually use like my laser pistol or something that didn't work out well uh, I don't particularly want to but I've got my laser rifle so let's try this again damage like than what I wanted to empty darts and camera and police button take the police button because I can sell that energy cells which is useful there's a bed here so I can sleep which is good microfusion energy cells good uh, electron charge pack I'll take, laser rifle which is good, combat knife I can use it to repair my one that I've got, 
Uh, let's check these wagons. So we've got mailbox here. Back to the great street, no. Nope. Let's check these. Mailbox, coffee pack, cigarettes. Oh, if I'd want to stay that'll do. Empty, empty. Combat knife can use to repair the one I've currently got. What have we got in here? Okay. Uh, clipboard, no. Please button. Please button. What's this skeleton? <laughs> hey, look, a skeleton. Nothing could be used. Oh, some extras here. What have we got here? Footlocker. Combat armor, I'll take that. 32 caliber. Shotgun. Not bad. Not bad, not bad at all. Well, since it's a bed, I was gonna sleep till like morning. There we go. So if you sleep till morning, it'd be quite good. Uh, so we can repair what we've got. Plasma rifle. Perma laser rifle, which is cool. Hunting rifle, it's 17 power though. The, the, I think it's just no good against like machines. So, give me my laser pistol. That's what we got here. Oh, it's a... Oh, yeah, this is a death claw. Uh... Give me my assault rifle. It's just not bothered, is it? So if we carry on up here to Vault 87, I'm just going to follow like the road. And uh, what have we got over here? Hey look, a mole rat. Hey look, a family of them. More rats here. All right, let's carry on up. I don't know if this is like a 
looks like a restricted area a bit, but... Well, it's not a restricted area, it's more of a... Power source in here. So I found the radio signal. But there's nothing here. Hmm. There's... Oh, look, a red scorpion. So let's carry on our journey up to Vault 87 then. Just following a nice road. <laughs> kind of dismantled life. Hey look, a, a thing. Just shot out of the sky. Nice and easy. So you can see, you kind of think to yourself, because Fallout 3 is kind of like a post apocalyptic world, that like all those water towers and everything, how are they still standing? Use something a bit more powerful. Uh, give me my laser rifle. Oh, that drops that one. Well, this one's got a main rifle. There we go. That takes care of these guys. So you've got ammunition, I'll take. You've got a standard assault rifle, I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. Let's just have a look at this standard assault rifle. So I've got, can't repair a combat knife yet. I can repair my hunting rifle. Oh, bad condition as well. But like I said, difference, there's nothing really different between a, an assault rifle and a combat. Well, not combat assault rifle, but a Chinese assault rifle. Well, there's a super mutant kind of fighting. Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. I just seem to press the wrong button. what that was then. A centaur. Or centaur. That's one ugly thing. Oh, you've got nothing. I'll blow you to bits. And since you've kind of like killed some animals, I'll kind of happily... Well, I think I helped taking them down, but... Oh, you've actually managed to kill a herd of them. You know, well, not a herd, but a, a nice group of them. Gives me some food, at, at least. So, nice bits of steak to take. So that's helpful for me. So, let's get back up into the road.
Alright. Ah, there we go. I believe that's where we might need to be by the look of the... Uh, well, the compass there. I think we've got this little, what, little lamp light now. Let's find out. Yes, we're at little lamp light. So, little shed here of goodies, let's see. Some steak. What got in this toolbox? Nothing great. Instamash. Detergents, ammunition, some shotgun shells that'll do nicely. Caliber rounds, even better. Some great ammunition, sugar bombs, nothing. Uh, apples, beads, pork and beads. Yum yum deviled eggs, nothing in that box. Uh, a cone, go think. Nothing hiding. At least, well, that safe's been emptied already by someone. Nothing hiding around here. We've got a little blown up shed. Anything being left behind? That a. Oh, it's a machine. There we go. That explosion from that car didn't exactly help my cause. But again, how is a car still got its engine to blow when again you're meant to be in a post apocalyptic world? Makes you question. And as there's actually no beds around. I think we may be forced to kind of jump back. Oh, we'll fine, we'll see. Alright, so we're here at Little Lamp Light, uh, going down into the vault. As I can't withdraw my weapons. Hold it right there, lady. Don't take another step, or we'll blow your fucking head off. So lovely. You're big, and I don't have any big friends. You better just go out the way you came in. Hell no! No mungos allowed! Well, okay. But you better not be lying, or else we'll shoot you. Hooray! Enter Vault 87. Happy birthday, Sticky. Sorry. This is the worst day of my life. It's time to go. You know. Watch it. Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. <laughs> you don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. Lovely. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo. You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty monsters. good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. 
The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. <laughs> yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door I that it's works. called Murder Pass. Pass or Murder Pass. It's the only way that works, yeah. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted and not even Joseph can make it work. I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. Wow. You sure about that? It's scary in there. Even I don't like going in there, and I'm really brave. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Come on, let's get the gate open for you, Mungo. What do you want, Mungo? Organized? Have you walked around this place? It's pure anarchy, and I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. We can't all it's stay here forever, kid. so we've all got to leave eventually. And there's not much to look forward to out there. So we have a good time while we're here. And the occasional ruthless little bastard like me makes sure it doesn't <laughs> fall apart for the other kids. Wow. It's not that complex. Any kid can say they want to be mayor here. It's just that most don't want to bother with the responsibility of leading. Most of the time, they last until the kids get tired of them. Then they get kicked out on their ass by the new mayor. One only lasted five minutes. <laughs> of course, I've kept this place going strong for three years. Three years. Most kids, that's a lot. That makes me mayor for fucking life. Fine by me, I say. People change when they grow up, and we don't trust Mungo's living down here. So we leave for a place called Big Town before we get too old. Kids who grow up fighting and surviving in Lamplight are better trained for the world out there than idiots who are pampered by grown ups outside. Sounds about sounds good. About time. Yeah, sure, whatever. The rules are stupid. You're a mungo now. You gotta leave. Maybe I can stay just a little longer? Bye. Wow! What luck! I'm sticky. Forget these little kids. I'll take you to Big Town where the Mungos, I mean where the grown-ups live. I'm headed there now. Nah. I'm a grown-up now. I can handle myself. <laughs> There's no reason to waste your time with the kiddies at Little Lamplight. They'll steal your caps when you aren't looking. So let's go to Big Town. I can show you the way. I'm not allowed in Little Lamplight anymore. Only people under 18 get to live in <laughs> Little Lamplight. So when you're done with those little kids, we can go to Big Town together. I'll wait outside for you. Okay. Sticky. Let's see what I can kind of... Let's see if I can. Essentials. Door to the office. Excuse me. Watch it. Oh, no, if I do, I'll steal. Oh, no. Activate ham radio. Shh, nobody knows. I need everything I can get. A stealth boy. Oh! I don't care, I'm, ste I'm stealing from kids. It's a bad thing to get children. Don't steal from children. Damage guard of gnome, teddy. Ah, oh, journals. <sighs> Can I use the bed? Please let me to use the bed. Ah, oh, godsend. Watch it. Thank you. 
was, uh, do, can I actually check my, like, camera and that, then? Because all it says I've lost camera. I'm still good ranger, so it's alright. It's the fact that I've picked up a sneak boy, which is pretty cool. Okay, bye. See ya about. Watch it. I thought he hasn't actually closed his closed the gate back up. So, uh, well, we managed to get into well, gained access to the little lamp light. So I think I just have to go find the kid wherever he is. Where is it? Souvenirs. So it's literally like a little. It's literally like a village down here then. Which is pretty cool. Oh my god, this is actually quite cool. Wow. Well, again, we've made it to Low Lamplay, and this looks like a little awesome in cave village for children. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll take a look around Little Lamplay and we'll gain entry to Vault 87 in the next episode. Thank you for watching, I've been Recky Gaming, we'll catch you in the next episode.